Hi, my name is Emma Cannon and I'm one of the 4-H agents here in Marion County. I work for UF IFAS Extension. Today we're going to talk about alternative methods of growing food. So not everyone has a big plot of land that we can till up and grow directly into the ground. So today I wanted to show you many items from my house that I brought to give you an example of how we can think about starting seedlings in these types of materials to then move to bigger materials over here. So I'm going to start with showing you seedlings. If you're participating in our Victory Garden program, you are getting cow, pea, squash, and cucumber. So this is a cardboard egg tray, and I'm going to use, out of my protein powder uh, tub, I have a scoop. So I'm going to finish filling this up with soil, and then I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to begin your seedlings in an egg carton. So you'll spread them out, Make sure that they're all evenly spread throughout and you're going to push them down about an inch or a half an inch into the soil. Make sure they're completely covered with the soil. And then you're going to go through and water. You wanna make sure not to drown your seedlings, but you wanna make sure that they have enough water so that they're moist. Another option is a cereal box. Cereal boxes are great because they're cardboard, just like the egg carton. So you can take off the top like so. You're also going to fill this up with soil. And this is a great depth for your seedlings. I'm going to put the cow pea seedlings into the cereal box. and you're going to spread them out. And again, you want them to be about an inch into the soil, smooth the surface, and then you're going to water them. These need to be watered every day. A strawberry bucket or another type of clamshell that you might buy fruit in, like blueberries or raspberries, is great because it already has holes in the bottom and that will help it drain. I'm going to put my squash seeds into the strawberry clamshell. Again, you're going to push them down in there and they don't need to be spaced out evenly because when the seedlings pop up, you'll be able to easily transplant them. Again, we water. Something good about these egg cartons is after the seedlings have sprouted, you can cut one little cup off and you can plant this directly into the soil because this is cardboard and it's biodegradable. So you would have a seedling and you would plant it directly into the soil. Those are how we might start seedlings with things in our house. Next, I'm going to move to these bigger items that you can fill with soil and grow plants directly into. This is a lettuce bucket that I got at the grocery store and I didn't want to throw it away. I wanted to recycle it. So we want to make sure that our soil isn't in big clumps. We want to crush it up. You can either transplant your seedlings that you would have started in something like this into a bigger bucket, or you can plant your seeds directly into this bucket and have them stay there throughout the growing season. I'm going to plant, let's see, I'm going to plant radishes. Radishes are a bulb, and so they need to be below the soil deep enough where they can develop. So I'm going to take a few of these seeds and scatter them throughout the lettuce bucket. These are very small seeds, and they don't need to be very deep into the soil. I put a lot of seeds into this lettuce bucket, so after they have sprouted, you're going to want to thin them out and give them enough space to grow. So I'm just gonna very lightly push them into the soil and then water. Next, we have a can that was filled with protein powder. 
This is a very deep pan. So you're going to think about something that might need lots of room for the roots to grow. Only problem with this can, and it currently doesn't have any holes for drainage in the bottom. So with me today, I've got a drill and a drill bit. I'm using gloves to make sure that I'm taking care of my hands so that I'm safe. But if you don't have a drill bit, I'm also going to demonstrate how to do this with scissors. But you'll very carefully hold the box, then you're going to drill holes. Seven to 10 holes is what we prefer you to use for the appropriate amount of drainage. To not waste soil, make sure that you use your scoop. The things I'm thinking about planting here are okra, tomatoes, and peppers. I'm going to plant the okra seed into this taller container because okra gets pretty tall, so I want to give it a strong base. I'm going to put the seeds directly into the soil and push them down about an inch. I'm putting quite a few seeds to give them enough room um, to germinate and then if there's too many I will thin them out and keep only maybe one or two because this is a very small hole in diameter. So I push them down into the soil now I'm going to water. You want to make sure that you water enough until you see water coming out of the bottom of the holes that we just drilled. So just a little bit more water. So you can see that there's water coming through. So that means all of the soil is draining properly. Another item that we might have is an orange juice carton. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the top off. You can cut the top off here and have another tall structure just like we planted our okra, or you can cut it in half and start seedlings in it with something that's a little bit shorter. I'm going to cut the top off to give us a taller structure. We want to make sure we're always wearing gloves to make sure that we're safe. And if you were in 4-H or you're a youth, you should always have adult supervision. So now I have quite a tall structure. Again, you're going to need holes to drain. So you can very carefully make a hole using scissors. They don't have to be perfectly round holes. They can be slits just something small enough so that the water can drain out. Perfect. So again, you're going to fill this with soil. So I've got my soil, I've got my drainage holes. I'm going to plant bell peppers into the orange juice bucket. These again need to go about a half an inch to an inch in depth. And then you're going to water. And you can see that there's water coming out the bottom. There are many more items that you can plant things in. So I'm just going to leave these here and I'm gonna let you get creative at your house on different things that you have you may have some things that I wasn't able to find at my house, but that's going to be one of our fun activities this week.
is you're gonna go on a scavenger hunt around your house and think about what's cardboard, what's biodegradable, what already has holes in it that we might be throwing away or putting into a recycle bin that you can fill with soil and start your seedlings, or you can try to grow your own food in these types of buckets. Thanks and have fun on the scavenger hunt.